The first step to setting up your WooCommerce store is to get a domain name. After you do that, you can choose a host. You can choose a website that's going to host your WooCommerce store. After that, you just install WordPress. And if you choose the right host, it's very easy. It'll be a one click install. And I'm going to talk about all the steps, all six of the steps in detail later in this video. I just want to quickly give you an overview of what the steps are. So after you install WordPress, which is the platform that WooCommerce is based on, you install the plugin of WooCommerce. Very simple, very easy to do. Once you've set up WooCommerce, you can set up a payment processor. This is things like PayPal or Stripe. Who's gonna be actually handling the credit cards for you, basically? Also, once again, this is really easy to do. This whole process of setting up WooCommerce is very simple. And the last and final step is to create your product. Hi, I'm Travis, and about six years ago, I quit my corporate job to start my first online business, my first online store, and it was the best thing I ever did. And I made a ton of mistakes along the way, so I wanted to make this video for you so you don't make a lot of the same mistakes I did. Now, personally, I'm a big fan of Shopify, but if you're on a budget, WooCommerce is a great option. And I personally use WooCommerce for some of my stores. So this video is gonna be the perfect video for you if you're just getting started. The first step is to buy a domain name. You can go to GoDaddy or Namecheap to get your domain name. Now, a few tips on getting a domain name. This domain name is gonna represent you and it's gonna represent your company. So you want it to be short, easy to spell and easy to remember. Think of any good website, any good company you go to their, their website. If you don't, if it's a hard name to spell, if it's a hard name to remember, you're just, you're not gonna go there. If it's too long, there's issues. A bonus tip is you want your domain name to include the keyword you're trying to rank for. And for those of you that don't know, a keyword is what would someone type into Google to find you, find your company? You wanna make sure that that is included. An example of this might be if you're selling peanut butter, you'd want the domain name peanutbutter.com because it's so short. But if that's not available, which it probably isn't, you might wanna use something like peanutbutterlovers.com and it still contains the keyword and that makes Google know that your site is all about peanut butter and it also lets other people know, people that are typing it in, that your website is selling and all about peanut butter. Once you've purchased your domain name, you need to choose a company that's gonna host your website. So even though WooCommerce is free, it's not free to host it. You need to either host it yourself, which means you need to buy a lot of expensive computer stuff, which I don't recommend, or pay someone a few bucks a month. I personally recommend SiteGround. I'll have a, I'll have a link up here. And if you use this link, I get a little bit of a kickback for them. So as a thank you, I'll give you a free one-on-one -on -one consulting session. Now I've reviewed all the top hosting companies and I'll, I'll link that video up here as well if you wanna maybe choose a different one. And to be fair, all of them give affiliate commission. SiteGround doesn't even give the biggest affiliate commission, but I respect them, I use them, and I think that they're one of the best hosting companies out there. In fact, they're one of only three companies that WordPress themselves recommend to be used for hosting WordPress. They're also really cheap at about four bucks a month and they offer a free SSL certificate, which is necessary for running WooCommerce. So after you purchase hosting, transfer your domain name over to uh, your host, which is a very simple process. There's a complete tutorial I have. I'll, I'll link, I have a complete tutorial walkthrough down below on how to do that. And then after you do that, you're gonna wanna install WordPress, which is literally like a one-click install. It's the easiest thing to do. It used to be very difficult, but sites like SiteGround made it really easy with their one-click WordPress install. Once you've installed WordPress, you're gonna go into the back end and you're gonna install a plugin. And the plugin is, of course, WooCommerce. This is also free and also very easy to do. Again, if you have any issues with figuring out how to do this, check out the walkthrough tutorial. The next step is to find a payment processor, someone that's gonna process all your payments. I highly recommend at least using PayPal, but you'll probably also wanna use Stripe or some other company like that to accept credit card payments. PayPal can work for accepting credit card payments, but it's a little clunky. So I personally use Stripe and PayPal. Once you've set up the payment processor, it's time to add your first product. This is easy as well. Once you're done, you're just gonna add the title. What, what do you want the title of your product to be? A description, and you're gonna wanna add all the images. And lastly, what is the price? At that point, you're pretty much done. And one big bonus tip for you is make sure you design your site so it looks good. 
Again, I do have that complete walkthrough tutorial and part of the walkthrough tutorial is showing you how to design your website so it, it converts really well. So whatever stage you are at in creating your online store, take the next step. If you just have an idea, go buy the domain name today. Do it right now. If you have the domain name, then pick a hosting company. Again, I recommend SiteGround. I have the link up here and down below. And remember, if you use my link, I'll give you a free 30 minute one-on-one -on -one consulting session. So whatever step you're at, take the next step. Make sure also to like and comment down below. And I teach people how to create their own passion product and sell it online. So if you want more information about that, click that subscribe button. And last and most importantly, remember to enjoy the journey.